Oh, hey there, this is Dr. Evan Osar. Welcome to this edition of Integrative Movement Insider. I hope you're having a great start to your week. Do you work with clients that have lat tightness and or inability to activate their lats? Well, first of all, one of the things we want to think about when we have clients that have limited range of mobility, especially limited range of motion and or mobility, especially if they're working on myofascial release and or mobility drills, is what are they doing during their exercises? It's very common for our clients to actually be training themselves right into shoulder immobility or loss of range of motion with their exercises. And I did this for years because I was trained very similar to how most of you watching this were trained. We were taught to bring the shoulders down and back, bring the chest up, squeeze, pack those shoulders down, and then do rows. Unfortunately, those cues directly led to my shoulder problems, and it's directly leading to many of my patients' shoulder problems, as well as their neck issues, because the more you pack your shoulders down, the more you elevate the ribcage and, and overextend the spine, you limit breathing, you limit optimal alignment, you depress the scapula, you pack the scapula down, because that's what you're doing, that's what you're training those muscles like the lats to do is pack those shoulders down and back. That limits your ability to get your arms overhead. It's so simple, yet so sort of appropriate to understand that. <laughs> I was lacking a better word or better phrase. Yes, it's such an important concept because I was never taught that in rehab, early in my rehab. I went through years of rehab, starting back in chiropractic school back in 1995 when I first started having shoulder problems, even before that. So things haven't really changed a whole lot in the last what year are we in? Yeah, we're almost like, trying to do the math real quick. Over 20 years ago, 25, 20, more than that, 28 years ago almost at this point. So what we want to think about is like, are our cues, is the strategy we're using to train our client actually what's contributing to their continued shoulder issue? There is a better way to cue your client. There's a better way to activate the lats without causing shoulder mobility issues. Here's what you want to do. First, you want to help your clients find their most neutral alignment. And again, we don't need to argue about what neutral alignment is. Just help them find a strategy that allows them to lengthen and keep the ribcage best aligned over top of their pelvis without ripping down. You want to cue them to be wide across their shoulders. This is the position to do rowing from. This is the position to do overhead or vertical pulling from. So if we think about this alignment, when I grab my dumbbell and go to do my dumbbell row, the row is just reinforcing this alignment. So as I row, I'm keeping that width across my shoulders and then rowing myself into the shoulder position I ultimately want to have. Because when you think about the scapular stabilizers, think of them not as that. They're stabilizing the scapula. So why do I want to teach them to go from here to here? from here to here. Yes, I may be working full range of motion, but is that what your client needs? And will that full range of motion actually improve their ability to stabilize the scapula here when they're pushing, when they're pulling, when they're pushing overhead, when they're grabbing their children? And I would agree, or I should say, I would state that it does not. And that's why so many of our clients struggle through everyday life and through their exercises, and they will develop chronic mobility issues because they're not teaching these scapular stabilizers to actually do what they're supposed to do and stabilize the scapula. Yes, you want to work through full range of motion. Yes, you should be stable here. Yes, you should be stable here. But teaching the client to row like this or pull like this doesn't teach them how to control the scapula. One of the most successful strategies we use with our client, number one, stop squeezing down and back. If your client's shoulders are up like this, which not many are, then yeah, you can bring their shoulders back down. Just don't have them go the opposite direction where now their shoulders are too far down and back. So number one, stop squeezing down and back so much. Then teach them how to get the scapula into a more optimal position by breathing up into their upper rib cage. Then teach them how to maintain that position as they're doing their rows, as they're doing their curls, as they're doing overhead presses, so that they're training those muscles to reinforce the position, the control that you ultimately want them to have when they get out there into the real world. And that's how you become that go-to specialist for your current clients and you attract more individuals that need, want, and will pay you 
for your expertise. I hope that made a lot of sense and I hope it really fits in with the way you look at your clients and the way you train your clients. And if not, feel free, leave a remark here. If you disagree, that's cool too, we can disagree. Put it in the comments there and let's have a discussion. If you're looking for more information that will really help your clients, especially those clients that are struggling with chronic shoulder mobility as well as neck issues because shoulder mobility issues often become neck issues and neck issues then become shoulder mobility issues. Check out the brand new series of Chew Anatomy Geeks. I'll put the link below this video next to this video wherever you're watching it. Jill and I, my fellow anatomy geek, we're covering the shoulder complex. This week is part three. And if you missed the part, first two parts, no problem. They're recording. You'll get immediate access once you enroll in this course. I believe, and I stand by, this is the best course on the shoulder because we'll teach you how the shoulder works. And I'll teach you what I did, what I learned, because I learned the same things that you learned. I learned how to squeeze down and back. I learned how to develop my lats. I learned how to, how to scapular depress. I learned how to stretch out my pecs and my upper traps. And it led to worse shoulder problems. It didn't solve my shoulder problems. And that's exactly what's happening for so many of our clients as well. So I'll teach you what not to do as well well as some strategies that will help you start to look at your client's shoulders and even neck issues a bit differently. And more importantly, we don't just teach you anatomy like, oh yeah, here's some, some anatomy, yeah, go figure it out. No, we'll show you how to incorporate this into your assessments and in, in your corrective exercises so you can really help your clients and use this information. We want you to be able to use this information right away, today, right now, I should say, whenever you watch it. <laughs> so. We would love to have you. It's a great community of like-minded individuals, just like you. I know, I know you're part of our community. We appreciate you being part of our community because you really want to up-level your knowledge, your skill set, so you can go out there and serve the clients, serve those individuals that are looking for someone just like you. There's lots of people out there showing people how to get bigger biceps and get leaner and get cut up and do all this crazy stuff with their shoulders. Lots of people out there. There aren't a lot of people showing really good information that will actually apply to the general population, the people that aren't high level athletes or division one athletes or former you know, uh, professional athletes out there. People like you and me and the clients that we work with. So we'd love to have you as part of this community. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave, leave them next to this video and I will answer them. This is Dr. Evan Osar. We look forward to seeing you this Saturday for part three of Two Anatomy Geeks. Until then, get out there, be that leader for your current clients and be the light for those who are looking for someone just like you. Make it a great day. This is Dr. Evan Osar with Integrative Movement Insider. Take care.